This is Daniel Cook, learning about fish. Hi, I'm here Simon, and today he's going to teach me about fish. And I love fish, so it's, so it's really neat for me. Hi, Simon. Hi, Daniel. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many and friendly faces We'll have lots of fun With Daniel Cook Okay, Daniel, here we got uh, all of our tropical saltwater fish from all over the world. Mm. If you look down here in the bottom, we've got little jawfish. You see them living in the gravel. And yeah, we've see. got, let's see... Hey, he's I got, see that little blue guy. He's yep. sinking back in that thing. That's an engineer goby, and he's called that because he digs little holes in the gravel. Why does he dig holes in the gravel? Uh, to build a burrow that he can hide in so other fish don't eat him. <laughs> That's a smart idea. What kind of fish is that? That's a blue tang, just like Dory. Ooh. You see this guy here yeah. with the stripy face? That's a fox face, and they're poisonous. See the fins on the top and the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, very poisonous. You don't want to pick them up. Why is that guy putting up his spikes? Well, he's doing that to scare off the other fox face in the tank. So he puts out his poisonous spikes. Yeah, and that little guy was trying to see, eat that guy. Yeah, you see the little guy cleaning the big fish? Yeah. That's a cleaner wrasse, and he cleans parasites off the larger fish. Ooh. That one, that one, and that one, and that one. Eh, all four of them look like Nemo. Yeah, those, mm. those are common clownfish, just like Nemo. Yep. Can I help you feed the fish? Sure, Daniel. Do you know what fish eat? Fish food. I'll show you a special types of fish food for these guys. This is uh, seaweed, special seaweed. This smells bad and just exactly like salmon. But I can't believe they like it. Yeah, fish like garlic for some reason. How do you get the food in the tank? Well, I'll show you. Pop it down in the water. Okay, Daniel, the next fish we're going to feed are Colombian shark catfish. Those are catfish? Yep, they look a little bit like sharks. They tiny from, catfish. They're from South America. <laughs> and they get about two feet long. And Can they I have. Them? Yeah, if just give it a squeeze. Squeeze a bottle. What are we feeding them? These are called frozen blood worms. Why are there they called frozen blood worms? Well, they're actually baby mosquitoes, and they're frozen. See them? They have kind of a feeding frenzy, though, <laughs> just like real sharks. These are called serpent starfish. This feels squishy. See yours. Yep. Now, seahorses are an endangered species now, so you have to breed them in captivity. Why are they an endangered species? Well, they tend to take a lot of seahorses out of the ocean for, uh, for medicine and stuff like that and they don't breed fast enough. Okay, Daniel, you want to help me feed the sharks now? Really? Yep. Yeah! Well, sharkies are gonna get food, so keep swimming. What kind of shark is that? Those are black tip reef sharks. In the wild, they grow to about seven feet long. In this tank, they'll get about four, maybe five feet. The larger of the two sharks in here is the female. The smaller one's the male. How come the, shark, the sharks don't eat the fish in the tank, even well, the smaller ones? Sharks are pretty lazy. They generally only like to eat fish that are sick or dying or that we've hung off a rope in the middle of the tank. So unless they're very, very hungry, they leave the other fish alone. I'd still be nervous if I was a fish in that tank. But if I was a shark, I'd be like... <laughs> Yummy! Okay, Daniel, you want to give me a hand feeding the sharks? Yeah. Okay, now what do you think sharks eat? Squid and fish? Squid and fish, that's right. Well, today we just have the squid part and also some krill for the other fish. Yummy, huh? Yummy. Oh, squishy. Squishy, kind of slimy, huh? Yeah. I don't think I'd like to eat that. Well, at least not like plain like that. How do you get the fish in the tank? Well, I have to go up on top, and for that, I need my ladder. I'm putting in some food for the small fish. This is just dried krill. Put in some squid. Here's, that's the squid for the sharks. 
Here comes the shark. Here comes the shark. Sometimes it takes them a minute to find it. Oh, the shark's getting faster. I think he knows you're feeding him. Here comes the shark. Here comes the shark. Here comes the I can't believe that shark ate, ate the food right out of your hand. Pretty cool, eh, Daniel? Yeah. Thank you so much, Simon, for teaching me about fish and letting me help you feed the sharks. It was a lot of fun. You're very welcome, Daniel. <laughs>